All right, hey guys, Scott here again with a brand new video. And for this one, I'll be showing you guys how you can use the delta of your option contracts to basically give yourself a very good approximation for your overall chance of making a profit on that trade. Right, so delta, in my opinion, is a very, very cool thing because it can be used in a variety of different ways. And most commonly, of course, the delta of an option is used to figure out your risk on the trade, but again, also, it can be used to figure out the approximate chance of making money on your trade as well. Now, briefly here before we dive in, if you would like to learn how to very easily and effectively automate your specific option trading strategy and perform detailed research with simulations and backtesting, then make sure you watch until the end of the video. And also, if you would like to join a very exclusive online community where you can learn how to trade options and my overall custom approach to the markets, then you can now join my option trading discord. So definitely make sure to check out the description below to learn a lot more about that. And then lastly here, for anybody who is also brand new to the channel, again, my name is Scott, and you can also find me on Skillshare as well, where you can take my very detailed classes on options trading or stock market investing. And you will also find some links to a few of my introductory courses in the description of this video as well. So be sure to check them out. And when you join Skillshare using those links, you'll get a full one month free trial. All right, guys, so now diving in here, and for this video, we'll take a look at SPY in particular, which is an ETF that tracks the S&P 500. And so if we go into the trade tab here and take a look at the option chain, doesn't matter which expiration we look at. So for example, let's go into the September 16th monthly expiration, and I'll unfold this tab, and then we'll scroll down to the near at the money options, which is right here. And so as you can see at the top here, I do have some various uh, metrics displayed about each one of these contracts, both for the put options and the call options. And one of those metrics is the probability of the contract expiring in the money. That's what ITM stands for. So for example, this 400 strike put option has about a 33.75% chance of expiring in the money by the September 16th expiration date in 21 days. Right, so basically about a 33, almost 34% chance of SPY falling down below my 400 strike by the expiration date. That's what that means. And so of course, that also means taking the inverse of this probability, that means there's about a 66% chance almost of this option expiring worthless. Now, depending on whether you bought or sold this contract, that's going to dictate which one of those probabilities that you're gonna to use to calculate your chance of profit by the expiration date. Right, so specifically, if you bought this put option, then by expiration, you want SPY to be below your strike price here. So therefore, an option buyer has about a 33, 34% chance or so of making money on this trade by that date. And then conversely, if you sold this put option and therefore you want the option to expire worthless or out of the money, then you would use the inverse probability. So in that case, a seller of this put option would have about a 66% chance of making money on this trade. But now, also take note of the delta of this contract as well. It's currently 31. Now typically, as I mentioned earlier, the delta of a contract is often used to calculate the risk that you have on a trade, right? Because uh, more specifically speaking, the delta tells you how much approximately the price of that contract will change for a $1 move in the price of the underlying stock. Right, so for example, currently SPY is at about 410 bucks per share and 50 cents. So again, therefore, if this ETF moves up or down by one buck, then the price of this 400 strike put option will change by about $31, either up or down, depending on the direction. So again, hopefully that makes sense in that, as I said, Delta is often used to figure out your risk on the trade because it's gonna tell you how much you're either going to profit or lose on your option based on where the stock moves. But also, as you can see here with all the option contracts, both the puts and the calls, the delta is always very close to the actual statistical chance of your contract expiring in the money, right? 34% versus 32. Or what about the 400 and 8 strike put option? The chance of this contract expiring in the money by the expiration date is about 47%, and the delta is 45, very close. Same thing as well for in the money contracts too. The 420 strike put option has about a 70% chance of expiring the money, actually more about 69%, and the delta is 67. Again, very, very close. And like I said, you'll find the exact same thing to be true for the call options here as well. 
So bottom line here, along with the delta telling you how much risk you have on the trade, it also is a very close approximate for the chance of that option expiring in the money by the expiration date. Now do also keep in mind though that the delta does not factor in your overall break even point on the trade. So again, if you buy options, you're paying a debit to enter the trade. If you're selling options, you collect your credit and the debit or the credit will change your break even point a little bit beyond uh, your strike price. But bottom line again, the delta just gives you an approximate measure of your overall chance of profit. And once more, just to reiterate, if you bought an option, then your approximate chance of profit by the expiration date is literally just the delta as is. And then if you sold the option contract, then you take the inverse of the delta or one minus the delta, and that's gonna be your approximate chance of profit on that trade. And then finally here, I'll give you one more brief example involving both a call option and a put option at the same time. Right, so for example, maybe I wanna sell a strangle on SPY, which means I'm gonna sell perhaps this call option right here with a 426 strike and a 20 or 19 delta. It is changing a little bit here. And then on the put side, I'll sell an option with the exact same delta. So just to make the math a bit easier here, I'll go with the 390 strike put option with a 20 delta as well. And so now because I sold both these contracts, that means the chance that either one of these options will expire out of the money is the inverse of the delta. So one minus 0.2 is 0.8, and therefore this put option has about an 80% chance of expiring out of the money or expiring worthless. And same thing with this call option here as well, right? So one minus 0.19 is 0.81. So again, this call option also has about an 80% chance of expiring worthless. But because this position here is the combination of two contracts, then the overall chance of profit is a bit different, right? So basically for a strangle, I want SPY by the expiration date to end up anywhere in between my two strikes here. And therefore both the put option and the call option would expire worthless. And so that's why I need to calculate the probability of SPY being in between this range. And the way I can do that is by again, keeping in mind that each one of these contracts here has about a 20% chance of expiring in the money. Or specifically for the call option here, about a 20% chance of SPY being above, anywhere above 426 by the expiration date. And then for the put option, about a 20% chance of SPY being below 390. So therefore, the chance of SPY either being below 390 by expiration or above 426 by expiration is simply the sum of those two probabilities, 20% plus 20%. So real quick, let's bring up the calculator. And again, like I said, 20% plus 20% is 40%. And then lastly, to figure out the chance of SPY being in between this range, not beyond the range, we simply take the inverse of this probability right here. So 100% minus 40% is 60%. This here is the approximate chance that by expiration SPY is going to be in between our two strikes here. And therefore also 60% is our approximate chance of profit as well, right? Because again, as long as SPY is in between this range by expiration, both these contracts will expire worthless and we get to walk away and keep the full premium. Now, if that last example there was a bit complex, don't worry. I would say bottom line, the most important thing to take away from this video is simply the fact that again, your delta is your approximate chance of that option expiring in the money. And then once you get more comfortable and confident with stats and probabilities in general, then at that point, you can take that knowledge and expand upon it to, again, calculate your chance of profit on more complex strategies like strangles or credit spreads, iron condors, things like that. And so with that being said, that's gonna do it here for this video, but of course, one last thing, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, if you want to learn how you can automate your exact option trading strategy and also perform detailed research with uh, simulations and backtesting, then join Option Alpha today for a free 30-day trial. And so this powerful and very easy to use software allows you to rapidly configure trading bots that will execute your exact trading strategy automatically. Right? So it's the perfect way to eliminate human error and emotion from your trading while also ensuring that your portfolio is always being actively monitored and managed while the market is open. 
And you can also use Option Alpha's powerful backtesting software to improve your strategy by continuously testing and refining your approach over decades of stock market data. And finally, the Option Alpha platform offers a huge online community where you can engage in discussion with other traders, get answers to all of your questions, and find inspiration for new trades and strategies. And so if that sounds good to you, then again, use my link in the description of this video to sign up and begin your free 30-day trial. And also don't forget to check out and join my options trading discord as well as my Skillshare courses. Links also in the video description. And finally here, if you enjoyed this video, then please give it a thumbs up, drop a comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I drop new videos every single week and you don't want to miss out. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.